The Raiders owner, Mark Davis, arrived at the team's training facility, found Gruden, the two men met, and John Gruden no longer is the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. John Gruden's career is over. It's over. John Gruden is not smart enough to run an NFL franchise. We now know this. Well, it's cancel culture. No, 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 no. John Gruden canceled himself. This was not a clumsy joke at a Christmas party or an inappropriate tweet. We've all had a bad tweet, right? Like, that's not what it was. John Gruden made racially insensitive comments about Demora Smith, the executive director of the Players Association. And you have a plethora of people in this country that felt that should have been enough. John Gruden's defense of his horrible comment about Dean Murray Smith was, yeah, I didn't know that calling a black lawyer a dumb, big-lipped man would be considered racist. Who knew? And I think he thought, if I survive the weekend, we win the game, I, I apologize to Demora Smith. Yeah, I may have said something in anger about the commissioner, but boy, did it get bad quickly uh, when you realize that he was basically offending just about everybody. And everybody defended him. Mike Tirico on NBC, mm -hmm. Tony Dungy on NBC. They said what he said was wrong, but let's forgive and forget and go forward. We had no idea the avalanche that was about to hit. Welcome back to Monday Night Football, where we have breaking news out of Las Vegas, where moments ago the Las Vegas Raiders and John Gruden officially parted ways. Earlier this evening, the New York Times uncovered a trail of emails dating back seven years in which John Gruden had a clean sweep of offending NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, women, gays, minorities, all sorts of people. I mean, you insulted blacks, you insulted women, you insulted uh, uh, folks from the gay community. Like he touched every bay. He, exactly. I, I don't know how many, uh, what's left to offend, maybe exactly. some religious groups. Correct. If you are in your 50s and you are sending emails to people's work accounts that have naked women in them, are calling gay people queers and using horrible slurs, forget being morally bankrupt, you're dumb. See, now I had a problem with this. It seems to me a lot of his former and current players, a lot of his current and former coaches, and a lot of co colleagues rushed to his defense. Now I need them to rush to the defense of the people that he offended when he was sending those emails. The blacks, the LBGTQ community, and the women. I need them to stand up for them like they stood up for John Gruden yesterday, yeah. and the day before, and the day before that. Yep. Where are they now? Ain't nobody saying nothing about them. It was old poor John Gruden. Oh, man, this is not the John I skill. He just always been a fraud to me. He just always been a fraud to me. Never, never from day one, he's been a used car salesman. And people bought it because he inherited a championship team built by Tony Dungy and Rich McKay. And he came in there with a little bit of different energy that we had with Tony. And it kind of kicked us over the top to get our world championship, which I am grateful for. I've resigned as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. I love the Raiders and do not want to be a distraction. Thank you to all the players, coaches, staff, and fans of Raider Nation. I'm sorry I never meant to hurt anyone. He clearly does not feel that what it transpired should have cost him his job. He doesn't want to be a distraction. Damn what he said, Skip. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to be a distraction. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm sorry for what I've said. And John Gruden, over the course of seven years, and this is just what we see, targeted anything that didn't look just like him or football in 1974. I cannot imagine even a white male with influence and connections and some degree of power that can overcome what the New York Times reported and what we all now know. We won the championship and we're standing on the podium in the Super Bowl and the general manager is trying to raise the trophy and the head coach takes the trophy from him, basically says, give me this, this belongs to me. And then the next year, the general manager leaves in the middle of the season because he doesn't want to deal with all the shenanigans that was going on. He leave, Think about this, though, Jay and Max. He leaves in the middle. Rich McKay left in the middle of the season to go take another job with another team because he didn't want to be around this guy. I'm like, and 
I had a bad moment. Come to find out, you had seven years of bad moment. I don't have one racist bone in my body. I don't know how many racist bones you got, but I know you got a very insensitive and a racist tongue in your mouth. Yeah. We do know that. And so, the emails took place over seven Over years, seven years. So it, 2018. So think about this, Gip. So it's not a, he said he had a bad moment. Yeah. Come to find out, you had seven years of bad moments. I got a text last night. And I'll keep this as vague as I can, but it's somebody I infrequently talk to. They're a general counsel, an attorney, and they had to work years ago with John. They resigned. It was too toxic. But think about it, Skip. And this is another point that I wanted to make. When he said this about the black, it's about give and forgive and forget. When he made those those homophobic, when those those gay slurs, when he made, when he said what he said about women, that was a screw. That was a bridge too far. Mm. All I'm saying is that I don't. Well, I mean, I told you yesterday. I thought the bridge too far had already been crossed. That's what that's what I thought too. Yeah, and, but and it I, wasn't. And, and the black players showed you, or at least the whole, let's do black and white players. Right. All of the players showed you right. on Sunday, their hearts were no longer right. in supporting this guy. But the NFL doesn't look good in a situation like this. Not at all. And we haven't even gotten to Daniel Snyder. Because I'm thinking, you know, Gruden said this. Did anybody else say anything? Anybody else on that email trail? But I was told there's some, some people should be nervous who are on the emails that uh, exist in the Washington football team organization. But that's how this started. And there's 650,000 emails. And these are the ones that surfaced. His career is over. There's certain things, particularly in this day and age, you don't come back from. And John Gruden cannot come back from 